I don't know if you can see that out there, but it's quite rough out there now. It's blowing a gale. Uh, and it's quite cold, and we've had it's not raining now, but it has been raining, and it probably will do again. This is quite different to what the weather's been like the last couple of weeks. It's been almost like summer, quite hot sometimes. And the, today, Sunday, has just totally changed. It's uh, east northeast wind, cold, blowing a gale, raining in, um, almost like February again. Um, anyway, we're all right, we're indoors. Uh, let's. Um, I was going to have, to have a quick look at this. Let's have a look at this. Um, if I can. So, right. I've got. Back in the mists of time when I bought this bike and I was just going to get it ready for the road and ride around on it before I found out there's so many problems, I bought these bags and the idea of, of using these, uh, making little panniers out of them. So when I put the mud guard on with the rack and that, I thought let's see if uh, what these look like if we actually put them on. This is the first time I take them out of the bag. Um, they're made in England, in Lancashire actually. They're made by well, the names on here. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's either Caradice or Caradike, or it might even have an Italian. Um, uh, accent to it, it might be Caradici or something like that. Anyway, it's spelled C A double -R, R A D I C E. They're on the internet. They're actually bicycle saddle bags, so the idea is, is and I'll put this up there. So the idea is, is it goes on your on your, on the back of a bicycle saddle like that. But I thought if I get two of them, they could go, you know, like this. Perhaps like little panniers. Um, they're, they weren't cheap, they're about £52 each, but they are nicely made. They're handmade. Uh, it appears to be a kind, it's sort of a, like a waxed cotton, so it's supposed to be water waterproof. I can't remember what the wax is, it's some kind of special wax, I can't remember now. On the website they go on about this wax. Um, but anyway. Um, so, uh, in here, we have got instructions and um, three little straps so there's two there's two places here so two straps can go over here and there's a third one can go through here because I've got this idea of it could go around this this vertical bar uh, in some form or other so um, we'll have a go with that and see what uh, see what happens. Elastic band off. So I think the instructions imply there's two straps go through the inside. There's a there's a wooden dowel here. I'm not sure about that. It might be it could be replaced with tubing or something perhaps later on I don't know but anyhow um so I think what happens is shove that through there so the buckles on the inside underneath and then um we do that back through the hole for the top in this sort of fashion and without trying to call do the same to the other side yeah that's what I thought so it just about fits look it goes to this side of this bar and this side of this bar and it's always going to be made for it so so the first time I've had them out, so it's the first time I've done this. Right, that goes in there, put it from the inside, and then try to do the buckle up. I don't know what could we go that far. 
Yeah, okay. So that's like that. And then there's this other one. Which we might, we might not, I don't know. Um, difficult threading it through. Reach needs, needs something else, but anyway. Um, there's a different solution for that, I think. But anyway, uh, so you've got your waterproof, it's like wax cotton stuff, and then it opens up quite, quite big. trousers in there probably and so on um, and also it's got this drawstring um, uh, sort of skirt around the top which so the text says um, will prevent rain and getting in around the edges so you can actually, you can actually pull it up and uh, there's a little toggle and um, you know, try to keep things dry, and then down over the top. Oh, anyway, I thought it was a good idea. Um, let's back in the view of it. So. reasonable size you can get your waterproofs in there or whatever your box of sandwiches and your flask or whatever it is and um, it doesn't look out of place if I sort out the the rear fastening a bit better um, should be a goer 